You're okay. okay. There she is. Isn't she cool? <laughs> Whoa. That's cool. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. You will not believe this, but this is my 400th vlog. Is that crazy? 400 vlogs. And I gotta tell you, this vlog is gonna be absolutely bananas. No, I, I mean, seriously, absolutely bananas. What I really meant about this vlog being bananas was banana ball pythons. I'm gonna spend the next few minutes just showing you some morphs of banana ball pythons that are absolutely incredible. And again, you know, for a lower end single mutation, this is an amazing animal. I mean, a normal banana is only about a couple hundred dollars and look at how gorgeous that animal is. I mean, this animal here was really revolutionary when it came to mutations of ball pythons. When they first came out, believe it or not, they were selling for 63 thousand dollars that's right sixty three thousand dollars Kevin McCurley had coral glows and then a guy named Will Slough in Chicago had bananas which bananas and coral glows are essentially the same different thing just two different lines uh, I don't want to argue about them being different or the same but to me they look exactly the same they do exact same thing I think they're kind of the same. Regardless, here's a normal banana, but there's plenty of more mutations where that came from. Moving on to this cute little monkey here. This happens to be a banana enchi pinstripe. And again, when you start adding layers into the banana gene, they really become extraordinary. The enchi and banana mix together really well. And then of course the pinstripe reduces that pattern. But when you put the enchi and pinstripe together, whoo hoo, that thing is awesome. And here is the enchi banana. You can see how that enchi gene just really reduces that pattern and makes it really beautifully banded. Moving on to one of the bananas that I think is the most incredible would of course be the cinnamon banana here. There's just something about those dark morph animals mixed in with the banana because essentially the darker it is, the more purple it is. And you can see how much purple that animal has in it. I mean, oh my gosh. I have always loved the black pastel and cinnamon pastel banana stuff. Next up would be a banana genetic stripe. Now the genetic stripe is actually actually a recessive mutation. They're really an animal that just has that dorsal striping like this, and then you mix them into the banana and holy moly. But what's interesting is some of the genetic stripes aren't completely striped and they're kind of lacking pattern down the back. As you can see with this one here, the dorsal striping just kind of breaks up and ooh, this is a feisty little monkey right here. The truth is, is that I like the really striped ones and I like the broken ones. I mean, both are amazing animals. And here's another version of a genetic stripe, but this one would actually be called a motley bee. So it is it's a genetic stripe, but it's also a spider, and of course, it's a banana. And then there's the pewter banana. The pewter is actually a pastel cinnamon, so I've told you that that cinnamon gene and banana gene mix so well together and are just absolutely gorgeous. Now, I will be honest, the pastel kind of dulls it out, so the cinnamons make them really purple, but then the pastel kind of washes that purple out. So, although I love pewter bananas, I actually prefer cinnamon bananas over the three gene animal that's the pewter banana. This one here is one of my favorites that we produced six or seven months ago. This is actually a stinger bee banana. Now the stinger bee is actually an enchi and a spider mixed together. So I told you that that enchi gene and banana mix so well together and then you add that spider gene in for a reduction of pattern and holy moly that thing just screams beautiful. Then you have a lemon blast banana which is a pastel pinstripe banana and you can kind of see how reduced pattern it is. As a matter of fact the pastel kind of fades it out to the point where you can almost not see the pattern of the pinstripe on it. And this is another case, much like the pewter, where I actually prefer the pinstripe bananas over the pastel pinstripe bananas, just because I think that they're a little bit more dynamic and the colors pop a little more. But that being said, this is still a gorgeous snake. And then this animal here is actually what they call an extreme gene spider banana. And the extreme gene basically just reduces the pattern. So that spider pattern is already reduced, and then you add that extreme gene into it, and it really becomes reduced but take a look at how cool that snake is that's just really cool and again you know I think that the banana gene is incredible and I hope you guys aren't getting bored of banana talk yet again just a handful more
more things and we'll move on to the next thing, I promise. So I showed you that Lemon Blast banana, which was the pastel pinstripe banana. This, of course, is the banana pinstripe without the pastel, and you can see how much brighter that pattern is. Now, mind you, as they get bigger, they will fade a little bit, and this is just a baby, and that one was like six or seven months old, but still, nevertheless, the normal pinstripes definitely are brighter than the Lemon Blast. This one here happens to be a banana Woma yellow belly. And again, you know, they're all kind of similar mutations. And some of you people may be watching and saying, you know, Brian, it seems like you're just showing the same snake over and over and over again. But there's little differences in little genetics. This again is a Woma and it's a yellow belly, which is again a little bit similar to say the spider stuff that I showed before, but they are different genes and they do react differently to different stuff. So you have to kind of work with them all. And I think that they're all gorgeous. But I understand some of you that are watching the vlog probably don't understand snake genetics. And I'm always trying to teach you and I, I know it can be confusing so don't worry go ahead in the comments number one tell me which banana ball python you think is the most gorgeous that I've showed and number two you know if you have questions ask I'm happy to answer I want you guys to learn about these things so that you can continue to grow your love for them genetically this one is really cool this happens to be a banana super enchi woma pinstripe so that enchi gene actually has a super version of it and this would be the super version which just kind of reduces it What's nice about something like a super is that when you breed an enchi to say a normal, for instance, you get on average about half of them. But you just don't know. If you get four eggs, you could get two, you could get one, you could get four. But when you have a super version, every single baby is enchi. So from a powerhouse genetic standpoint, this is a really cool animal. And then this snake here is the exact same snake, just minus the Woma gene. So that was a banana super enchi pin Woma. This is a banana super enchi pinstripe. You can just see a little bit of difference. But again, every time you add or subtract a gene, it does change the overall appearance and the genetics behind it. And then lastly, I'm going to show you the opposite of the cinnamon banana that I said is so amazing, which would be the black pastel banana. This is actually a black pastel, and it's head for ghost. And you can kind of tell that the black pastel and the cinnamon pastel are really similar genes. They kind of act exactly the same. The super versions look almost the same. Everything's about the same. But they have a little bit of different overall look. And the black pastel banana might be even nicer than the cinnamon pastel banana and this animal here is actually going home with Kelsey she's claimed it and said I'm taking that snake home so anyways guys that is all of the banana genes I am gonna bore you with I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comments which one you like and that I enjoyed this I do have a really quick visitor that I'm pretty excited about it's a kid that's a little bit afraid of snakes but his grandpa has been a friend of mine for many years is actually bringing him over and we're gonna introduce him and kind of get him from being a little bit trepidation with reptiles over to the side of loving them so they should be here any minute so I'm looking forward to showing them around all right so my friends just showed up and Nolan here <laughs> is getting a tour as well so uh, I'm gonna show you of course I always start out by showing you Bella have you ever seen a rhino about it before uh, no. oh my gosh they're so neat she is my baby I love her to death all right here she is look at her hey Bella hey sweetheart what are you doing come on you want to come down Come on, girl. Come on. Up you go. Up you go. You can pat her. She's completely fine. Oh, <laughs> she won't do anything. Oh, my God. She loves Feel her skin. <laughs> Feel her skin. What are you doing, Bella? She stands she up like she cool. likes her back. Like yeah, she loves to get patted. Like Molly when he's graduating. <laughs> yeah. Oh, his skills. See the little horns right here? Yeah. Skills, this is a rhino iguana. Yeah, her name is Bella. She's about two and a half years old now. You're my baby, aren't you? And we let her run around all the time, so <laughs> what do you think? We went to a Pretty cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Have you ever seen scaleless snakes? Uh, no. These are little scaleless snakes right here. Oh. <laughs> you can't it doesn't, it doesn't hurt at all, though. No. <laughs> here, go ahead. Hold on. No. Oh, boy. Why is he biting? Why is he biting? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Feel it, no. We got no, oh, very, oh, it's, no scales. It's... Like, Isn't that cool? Soft. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't feel all gross. I thought it was going to be like scaly. <laughs> oh, no. What is well, that? Well, like like this is a Texas rat, right? Yep, that's a Texas rat. You want to go see the big stuff now? Yeah. All right, off to the basement. So Nolan just asked me what my favorite reptile is, and I tell him the same thing I tell everyone. I can never choose just one. It's like a mom <laughs> choosing her favorite kid. <laughs> I love them all. I know you want to see this one over here. Is it a water snake? No, it's not a water snake. Okay, right there. Whoa. Is that an alligator? It's an alligator. Oh, look at that, huh? 
<laughs> How cool is that, huh? <laughs> That's my guy RJ. What's <laughs> up, RJ? What do you think? Pretty wow. cool, huh? He's a tame alligator, too. Oh, what is he? Uh, he's about seven years old now. Oh, you uh, he feeds on anything he wants. <laughs> Mainly little kids. How old are you? <laughs> You're gonna be eight. Eight. Ah, they only he only feeds on seven and a half year olds. <laughs> so that's you. That's you. <laughs> Nolan, I gotta show you something. This is something that I literally just got and I'm so excited about it. Do you have any idea what this is? No. Look at this. Oh, what the heck is that? I literally just got this. It's a little green anaconda. Oh, those things? Yeah, it's an anaconda. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Isn't that cool, Steve? Our yeah. Anaconda. Oh my gosh. Here, anaconda. Or anaconda. They get bigger no. than the one you just saw over there. Oh, they get big. That's that's an that's an anaconda the, yeah, from yeah. the movies you see. <laughs> yeah, they don't quite do what the movies show, but, <laughs> but they, they get big. Right. They get bigger than the, yeah. those ones you saw over there. Yeah. It's the fattest bodied snake in the world. Yeah. <laughs> don't squeeze him. Just let him let him let him crawl through your hands. You know. This is your warm up, and then we're gonna get out my girl Sunrise, an albino Burmese python, and you can hold her, okay? Okay. All right. So you're doing good. <laughs> she. I like... bet you're the only kid in your school that's held a green anaconda. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, Nolan, I've got to ask you, are you ready to hold Sunrise, my Burmese python? Sure. All right, here we go. That was the one stipulation. When he came in, I said he had to hold the snake. And uh, she is a sweetheart. She's an amazing snake, super docile. I mean, like this snake is so, so, so good. So why don't you sit down on the ground and I'll just put her on you, okay? Okay, here we go. Oh, don't worry, she's not gonna do anything. No, she won't do anything. Yep, yeah, she's gonna be fine. All right. You're okay. okay. There she is. Isn't she cool? Whoa. That's cool. Isn't that awesome? I'll keep her head away from you. I'll keep her head away. So you just got her body. You're doing great. <laughs> what a champ. Sweet. Cool. How cool is that, huh? It's pretty cool. Isn't she? She's she's amazing, isn't she? Her name is Sunrise. She's about eight or nine months old. I've had her since she was a baby. And uh, she is just an amazing animal. She's gonna eventually get almost the size of Daisy, the big one I showed you. All right guys, so Nolan did absolutely incredible. Uh, he promised me he was gonna hold Sunrise and he certainly did. I think that he's, uh, look at how cool that is. <laughs> Converting people one person at a time. All right, so Nolan and my friends are about to head out. Uh, I will say that Nolan got his very first snake bite. What did you think? <laughs> Pretty good. He doesn't even remember what hand it is. Uh, <laughs> there it is right there, see guys? <laughs> it was a little baby ball fight that got him, and there was a little dot of blood, but he handled it like a champ, and he's awesome. Nolan, you are awesome. Happy birthday, brother. Thanks. I'll see you soon. You're welcome here anytime, all right? Okay. All right, see you guys. See you, bye. So there you have it, guys. This vlog definitely was bananas like I promised you, but it was really cool to introduce a kid that was a little bit shy at first around animals, maybe a little bit cautious, to all of a sudden his eyes started brightening up, and he just started wanting to handle everything. That is what I live for, guys. I love love that experience and I hope that you guys enjoyed kind of watching it happen. I mean, how awesome is that? Regardless, you guys have an amazing day. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your support, watching, viewing, commenting, liking, doing all those things. You guys mean the world to me. Can you do me a couple favors really quick? Can you go ahead and hit that like button for me? Let's get this video as many likes as possible. Also, make sure to turn the post notifications on so you know when I'm uploading a video, which is 9 a.m. every day, Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.